All right, g'day guys. In this video, we're going to um, install the wings on the cruiser, go through the rigging process. Uh, I'm going to learn a lot myself. Um, watch along, see how we go. We'll get these wing struts fitted and the wings on permanently, ready to remove for paint. Enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So I'm just trying to get the weight out of these things. Um, I've drilled three 10 mil holes which go pretty much all the way to the end into the um, the radius um, and that's got me pretty close I haven't weighed them but just keep drilling I think I need more out and then the process there is I'll hook it on there and I'll show you okay so my process here just click over the, um, the counterweight on and then I just use my fingers at the moment on the uh, those L angles so on the forward corner if you like rolls back where the bolts would be still a bit nose heavy and right on the back is where I want it so put my fingers on the back of those corners so it's still nose heavy so that's just a um, just a quick reference yeah I'll, build, I'll hang it off the wing later and do it properly obviously 80% of the paint's going to be behind the C or G, if you like, or the centre line of the, um, the flapper on, so it's going to make it tail heavy, any, heavy anyway. And then with those holes in the back, I'll um, throw some fishing sinkers, so a bit more drilling. First thing I'm going to do is just re-zero my horizontal on the horizontal stab. Um, I'll take a zero off the cage, and this has got a slight, the bolts are just in loose at the moment. So it's got a slight, you know, half a degree or so. So I'll just get that spot on and tighten the nuts up. All right, up on top, I can see both wings are raked forward because the skin hits the trailing edge, or the trailing edge hits the skin here. So I've just measured uh, the gap at the front. Doesn't matter, whatever it is, X. And that's what I'll take off at the back. That'll allow the rear spar to um, slide in so I can uh, get my drill in there. All right, initial trim, move the wing in. This rivet tends to get in the way. Um, might have to just a little tiny notch there or raise the skin or lower the skin. Yeah, it's gonna chatter there anyway. So that rivet gets in the way on my aircraft. Haven't set the incidence yet, but I'll just take that one out of play. All right, working in the dark. We've got the laser. I assume that'll show up on the video. Put my little soldiers up on the wing. So I've got four of them spaced along. Just getting the spar straight to start with. So down there, both roots are... Uh, So the wing tips are forward. Just have to adjust that. A bit more trimming. All right, guys. Let's disregard everything you've seen. Um, sort of wasted a whole session, I guess, running around with the strings. And I started with the laser. Um, it's been a bit of a development, I guess. I had trouble getting the rear spar edge distance correct with the wings straight. So. Let's clean this up and we'll start again. I'll talk you through it. So one of the first things I was doing wrong, I guess, using the string, and I started with the laser thinking I was clever, um, laying the string along that line of rivets to get the wing, um, the spars parallel. That's wrong. The only reason the string is there is for your dihedral in the middle. That's the only reason the string's on there. All right, we'll work with that later. All right, it's up on the wing here. I'm not sure how good you can see that. That should be okay. So you can see with the wings parallel, I'd like to think you can see. Um, if you follow this line down, my edge distance, you're just not gonna get edge distance on the rear spar when you pull the, the wing off, you'll get a surprise. That's with the wings nice and square. So I'll show you that on the bench and try and explain that a bit better. All right. So, with the two wings, if you run the string line across, which is, for some reason, I thought that's what you had to do, 
to get the wings nice and square. And this represents the rear spar with 15 mil of edge distance. That's the absolute minimum. So at the moment, when I offer the, um, the wing up and have the wing straight, I'm sort of sitting somewhere like that. So as you can see behind there, I, I won't achieve the edge distance. It's close, but ideally, this wants to go right in and sit almost against the fuselage, somewhere like that. So you get 20 or 25 mil of edge distance. You know, it's holding the wing on, so that's what I'm going to go with. But the offshoot of that is the wings. The wings are going to end up canted back, only ever so slightly, but that's the way I'm going to do it. All right, so string line from the center line of the fuselage to the wing tip. String's got a lot of uh, stretch, but you know, so it's there. Also measured with the um, tape measure and got the wings within about two or three mil of each other. Now I'm just working on the ins wing incidence. So I've used this as my reference line at the top, measured down 30 mil. So as long as I get both sides the same, and then I'll just measure, looking for three degrees positive on the wing. All right, setting the dihedral. Uh, first tip I can give, so I built my wing stands to 1800 millimeters. Don't make them any bigger than say 1750 um, high, so I ran out of room. So I had to jack the aircraft, chock the wheels up, I like to raise the fuselage, both sides raise the fuselage up to make my stands, in effect, shorter. Um, and then move them in and, out, in, in and out. Plans call for 85, 85 to 90 millimetres. So I made a little soldier, if you like, um, with, see the marks there. So I've got to run my string line between there. You can muck around with this all day. And on both sides, string on this side, and my angle, if you like. So reference to my zero datum, across here, zero, 1.6 degrees, off the um, third rivet. On the other side, uh, third, third rivet up against the skin, 1.7, 1.6. That's how accurate the um, the uh, Duva is, a bit too accurate. So dihedral, time to make some wing struts. All right, offering up the struts. We're gonna have to do an initial cut just so I can get this up closer because it hits the wing. So I'll cut a chunk off and then make the, make the accurate cut. Okay, got the strut cut to length. Now, probably mucked around more than I needed to there. If you just connect, connect the base off of this up and it needs to clear. So you see I've got about a quarter of an inch still to go there um, so that you can actually insert this piece. Otherwise, you can't um, can't get it on. So that'll determine your strut length. Just mounting the uh, so the wing end of the wing struts. So I want to find a center line. So I found the easy way to do that. A couple of squares, square up square up the end that way, and so with that held square. Just run another square. A scratch and then you get a nice center line. All right, got the strut attached, um, marked down my 120 mil from the end. I came in 15, plant say 12. Anyway, I drilled my three holes on center. Now, my concern, I guess, is you don't want this to rotate when you bring it out. So, I've clamped it so I can drill these back holes 
and that's one side set. Okay, not too bad with all that. This side's just clicked on the outside and clamped, ready to come off, and ended up with the same on this side. Just need to clamp it. This side was actually pointing down here, needed a fair bit of effort to flex it up to there. What I did, I loosened those bolts, those through bolts. They have to be longer anyway. Um, just give me a bit of jiggle room, but there's still a fair bit. So I don't know how, when I pull the stand out, I guess this can't compress, so that should fix the dihedral where it is, hopefully. Hope it doesn't go twang. Um, and the horizontal tail looks good in the slot. Uh, the wing strut, cut to length, taking it back off. Now, I've got AN4-21 bolts, but they ended up, um, as you can see down here, even with a thin washer, I only got the one thread. So I'm going to swap these out. I went and bought some uh, Dash 22s. So what are they? 22 one eighth of an inch. So 22 eighths. Are we looking at two and a half, two and three quarter inch, something like that? Um, so the right size bolts. These aren't done up yet. But they'll go in there. That's better. You can see a different dash length. So we've got a washer under the head. There's no washer on these ones. I had a little sort of auto thin washer just to get me by. Um, but you can see now I've got a couple of threads, nice washers. We are good to go. Well, okay guys, got the wings on. Um, she's looking good. I fried myself a few times there. I took the wing stand out from one side um, that was complete. Then I noticed the aircraft, actually, while the other side was on a stand, the aircraft actually leaned a bit. So it gave the impression that I had zero dihedral um, until I picked up the other wing and you know how it works. So a bit of these ones because I was inverted. Um, so the wings are on. I'd love to say that went really well and really easy and just, you know, the bolts dropped in and, but no, uh, a little bit too, trying to be too accurate and a bit too smart at the start there, I guess. Um, once I just went, go the string option for your dihedral um, from your wing tip, find a center line on the tail, just set the wings back a bit to get your, um, I went through the, um, the issue I've got at the trailing edge, or did have if I, if I have a straight wing, so the wings are just slightly raked back, just a touch. Um, what have I got at the moment? Got to change a couple of washers, i.e. Um, made the bolts longer to go through the struts, dash 22s. Um, I've got a couple of just um, auto shop washers holding the spacing out the bolts for the struts. Um, I'm just a bit worried that if I pull out that rear Clico that the wing can sort of slide forward. I don't think it will, but I don't want to take that. I've just got a 16th Clico in the back there. Um, so I don't want to take him out just to find out. So that's it for now. Wing's gone on. Really happy. The dihedral lining up with the tail plane just looks fantastic. Um, which I was really worried about that, but um, yeah, work my way through it. So, next video, start on the flight controls, put on the flapperons. Um, I'm also going to have a play with the top skin, uh, the sunroof, maybe get the doors on. I just had a quick look before, the um, door sill won't fit in there, I've got to trim the wing. So it's better to do that than have a nice painted aeroplane and have to get out the, um, the Dremel. So, a bit of pain there, but I'll maybe slide the wings back, trim it, put them back on again. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you in the next one.